This track reminds us again it doesn't want us here. I get the call. And Simon has rolled his trailer. What happened? Shit, mate. How did that happen? Oh, I stuffed up, eh? Come hooking along. It wasn't watching oh. where I was going. I'm way too fast and I've hit this hole, eh? Hit it way too fast. We set off down the Frenchman's track. Had a chat to old mate back there at uh, Morton Telegraph Station this morning, mate. And um, he asked us where we were going. We said, oh, yeah, we're going down the Frenchman's track. And you know what the first thing he said, mate? Watch out for that deep water crossing. No, he said, good luck. Yeah, they all say good luck. Yeah, I know. So we'll see how we go, I guess. This trail is going to make it very interesting. Well, this track does have a bit of a reputation. So uh, hopefully this track might uh, give us a bit of fun with our big four-wheel drives and our trailers. We do like a good challenge. Well, let's see. Before we start that challenge, there is a god-awful noise that brings us to a grinding halt. Ah, problem we got is there's two arms that hold the diff into alignment and they come from the chassis down to the diff. Now, those two arms, there's a bush in there, and the bush has flogged out, top and bottom. That little movement in the diff well, can move the tail shaft across, and the noise I heard was the tail shaft hitting the, um, the plate, that, the cover for the fuel tank. Don't know, got no idea why, how, but my wheel is pointing like that and I can't drive this car down this track like that. I don't even know if I can drive the car down the road. I'm taking my bat and ball and I'm out. Oh, it's one of those trips. One of those trips. I'm gonna give Len a call, see what he can do. Hey, how you going, mate? Yeah, it was going all right. Not anymore. <laughs> Thanks, mate, see ya. Yep, so... I've got a, another set of arms. We might see about getting them sent up. So let's get back down this track and off to Weeper. We head for Weeper. Set up camp and wait for a plane. We break camp and head for the airport. That's it. <laughs> What better place than the airport car park to drop them in? Yeah. Well, there's the arm that come out, and you can see there's the bush all clogged out. And that is the reason why we're getting all that movement. And that's happened absolutely, actually both ends, on both arms. We're back, baby. That was the quickest whirlwind trip to Weeper in the old time, wasn't it? Sure was, mate. We're back on the Frenchman's track. And the 100 mil rain overnight. Oh, my goodness. Yes, if uh, I was worried before, um, probably a little bit more concerned now. 90 millimetres of rain fell overnight. I'm beginning to think this track is cursed. Ground is greasy, you lose momentum in a patch, that's where you stop. No, nah, mate, I'm stuck. Five seconds into it, and he's just going driven straight into a great big hole. But really? Well, that lasted about three seconds. Unlike my little uh, buddy over there. I'm not going to drive into that. I'm going to drive around it. Like that. Well, what do you know? I didn't get bogged. And I went off the track. Light rain starts falling. This doesn't feel good. Made an um, interesting little track up ahead of us. It looks like it drives through the swamp. I don't know whether there's a track around it or not. Beats me, you're in front. I'm just following you. All right, we'll soon find out. I'm going to stay to the left here. 
You get through here, I reckon, eh? Keep going. Keep going. <laughs> I think we're going to have to backtrack around it. Yeah, well, there's that other track that we saw. Maybe it goes around, eh? Yeah, I'd say so. It doesn't look well used. We'd be smart and do that rather than launch into that. I think we'd be smart. It's late in the afternoon, mate. Yeah. I don't want to spend the night in this sand fly infested swamp winching. Just going to check it you, out. Not unless you do, mate. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh. This will be the Wendlock here, mate. We'll, um, just sit here for the moment, eh? Uh, it's getting pretty dark. Probably um, there's a campsite here. Oh, this is looking a bit gnarly. It is. The beauty of this, mate, is downhill. You're not going up. Oh, out of control. Fly brakes. Might be a side track when the main one's all busted <laughs> up. The track coming down there as well. It's looking greasy, isn't it? And there she is, the Wendlock. Like you said, coming down's all right, it'll be the other side going out that we'll be have issues with. That's how I remembered it, big zigzag through the guts. There's the track through here, mate. And she's cranking, eh? So I've got to do a big duck and weave round here, yeah. up there, drive upstream and then cut across. Yeah. Maybe if we wait overnight, camp there, and it might drop a little bit overnight after that rain last night in 100 mil. Good call. It's got a hard bottom in it, that's rock yep. through here. Yep. Mate, that's fairly flowing out in the middle. We'll check the depth in the morning, but I think we're going to have to tie off that fan blade. Mm. I think so. We just, you just can't risk it. We know we'll get deep in here. All right. We're going to get wet. I'll have, I'll have a wash at the same He's time. going to have a wash. <laughs> 200 Series Land Cruisers have this habit of when you hit, when you're pushing the water, the fan hits the water that comes in through your engine bay as you're driving through the crossing, and it's so close to the radiator, the fan blades can flex and clip the radiator. But if you tie the fan off, because it's a, it's a viscous fan, so it's got a viscous hub, you can lock it off, it can still spin, the engine can still spin, no problem. It won't get any damage, no radiator damage, because we don't want that. So we will cross the Wenlock in the morning, by going down the main cutting. But now, we'll sit back and watch Old Man Moon tonight. Hey guys, if you've been touring around this great country of ours, camping, boating, fishing, four-wheel driving and adventuring as much as I have, then you know that you've got to rely on good quality gear. Now, Campos 4x4 have put together an awesome range of products that are made from quality components. Now, there's heaps of cheaper stuff out there, and we won't mention those brand names. You know who they are. Now, when we design things, they're designed to last, and you don't want them to fail right at that time when uh, you really need them. Anyway, if you want a chance to check out some good quality gear, get onto Campos 4x4's web store, okay, and uh, check out the shop there. Otherwise, mate, if you look in the list, there's a good chance there's a Campos dealer right around the corner from you. Anyway, let's stop mucking around here and get back to the adventure. Now that we've got camp packed up this morning, last night we decided that it was better off we camp and not try and attempt the Wenlock. There's two access tracks. I suppose a couple of them have been washed away, but the two that are available, the one goes straight down and one sort of could. It's still quite gnarly and comes down and then tucks in. The one that goes straight down, I'm not gonna get the turn on, so I'm gonna have to take the other one. Simon could probably take the straight one. But once we get all the vehicles down to the bottom, it's then a matter of forging across the river. And we're gonna have to do a few things to the trucks to get them ready for that. But we'll get cracking, because we've got a long way to go before we get to the Pasco. Yeah, just at the top there, Jay. Swing real wide up that bank before you turn in, eh? Go. Is that going to pull it round? Yeah, no, you're good at that. Yeah, that's good. This is 
going to test the trailer. Turn those headlights off would be good. I'll tell you what, I'm glad we're coming down here and not up here. Yeah, I don't think you want to be coming up here. It'll be a full winch job. How's it feel? It looks pretty gnarly. It feels all right at the moment. Your front wheel just disappear. <laughs> no way! You don't turn too hard to your right. You'll be on your side. It goes to go, don't be afraid to get on the gas. <laughs> Keep it going. You're all good. Got the rear diff locks in just to try and give me all the traction I can get. I've dropped the air out of the tyres. We've got descent control, got the brakes up full noise on the trailer. It's all going on. You can give your wheels a wash. Is there? What do you reckon, mate? I might come down here and sneak across first. It'd be a bit easier to get me out rather than you if one of us gets stuck. Yeah, that's probably a good idea, mate, because you're a lot lighter than me, and if you get across that creek and it feels good, then, um, you know, if, if, it, if it isn't good, then you can get me across, can't you? You can get me out of it. Yeah, that's right. It's a bit hard to pull you backwards through there. All right, mate, I might run up here and grab the truck. While Simon gets his truck, I walk down to the crossing. This river's come up last night, not gone down. Oh, we were hoping it was gonna go down. It's come up like heaps. Here's the shot from last night compared to now. Hey, Simon. You mate? You know how you said um, the river might go down last night? Has it come up? It's come up heaps. <laughs> oh, awesome. I'd probably suggest you don't come down. Really? Yeah, you better walk down here, mate, and have a look, because um, if you come down as well, we've got to get my truck back up. Coming down. Well, we'll just see if it's going to continue to rise. Because if we, if we get across here, then we've got to go further. We've got to get across the Pasco. Now, the Pasco is going to be in the same situation, and it's a deeper creek. Oh, we should have crossed it last night. Yeah, but then you trap yourself between, yeah, between the wet and the Yeah, the went log in the Pasco. But then the fact that, yeah, well, it depends if it comes up too, which you imagine probably would. Holy well, shit, it's that not, has come up. Yeah, it's not far off it, see? Yeah, yeah. Go let's go for a look, eh? We check the depth and the flow. No way. Yeah, that current, that current's just gonna wall up against my wind, my um, side side windows, and I'm just gonna go boom into there, and I'm gonna end up in the in a big world of hurt there. Well, you there? How are we I, gonna get you? I gotta get my there? I gotta get my gear back up. Back up. I don't know how we're gonna do that. That's gonna be full on. Let's go and have a look at it. Yeah, but this, right. this, there's no way Yeah, no, this ain't happening. This ain't happening. Here it is. Yeah. Gone. There's no way we're going to get across this crossing. No, I'm not I'm not risking the gear for this. Like, our trucks are heavy, but that current, that current is just going to smash us up against the trees, and it's going to be all over. It'll be all over Red Rover. And that's before we even attack the Pasco. The Pasco is actually the deep crossing. The Wenlog isn't. I reckon we can get the whole the whole shooting match around that corner yeah. and shoot it up. But if we get rid of a bit of the weight on the trailer, get rid of the buggy, yeah, get the buggy and the quad off, and we basically come around here. And if you sit at the top with your winch, you could probably double winch it. Yeah, yeah, no, we'll get up there. I reckon. I think it'll go up. Be a bit of mucking around, but we'll get it up there. The ATV's weight is nearly a ton, so we lighten the load. You want to swing pretty wide. 
We try to make the turn to winch up the hill. We yeah, like to swing wide. The track, it has other ideas. Hey, hey, where are you going? What are you doing? I ain't gonna make that. I can't even turn around. I just dropped into that rut. Yeah, there's no way you're getting it now. We'll just go down and turn around in the river, eh? Jeez, that's key. Trust me, mate, trust me. What could possibly go wrong? This nuts. It's a bad idea. What was that? Just a tail guys hooking up on a tree. Alright. I reckon it's easier to spin it around the river, mate. I just I dropped into that ditch there and the thing just like tipping like that, next thing you know it'd be on my side. Yeah, it was, it was over. It was right on its side. We got a better chance in the river. <laughs> trust me, mate. Oh, I trust you. Bad I'm gonna go, I'm gonna try and get down there and try and reverse back up into here. Alright, well, you're good there, but there's a bit of a hole here. As long as you stay out of that main current, eh? I'll see if you can nose into it. Yeah, I want to see if I can get down in there. Let me just check there's no big stumps in the middle. I stubbed my toe and go out. <laughs> no, I reckon you're good, eh? Nose are in, mate. Nice and wide. <laughs> Here goes nothing. Now let me just move these wheels because I'll float. When I back this in, I'm not going to be hanging around, sitting in the water. I'm going to be backing and then I'm going forward and get the hell out of there. Good playing. This video is brought to you today by the Boss Shadow 180. Now it's a 180 degree awning and it's made by Camp Boss 4x4. Perfect for a setup like this on the side of a wagon. What I'll do is I'll show you how easy it is to set up by yourself. All right, we whack this on like this. This one comes around, okay. Now it's got these little ratchies, okay. Makes it easier to set up. Hook it on the little hook here, like that. Adjust it around and pull on the ratchie. So that's set up there like that. Then we go around, we get the, the back bit, slide him out like that and pull it tight. There we go. So 280 GSM waterproof and up to 50 UV protection. It's got a light, a full size LED light on both arms and every one of the frames is a full A-frame type setup. Well, there you go. That's the uh, Bosch Shadow 180. A great 180 degree of coverage. Keep the sun off you, keep the rain off you. Awesome bit of kit. If you get a chance, check it out. Anyway, back to the adventure. Now, it's just a matter of climbing out. I might just quickly zap this buggy up the hill before we get stuck on it. Yeah, mate, too easy. Way you go. I won't lie to you, that was fun. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's get this big thing up this hill. Um, you just line me up, I guess. 
Um, get me in the right position. Well, like it lined up last time and you went down and drove around in flooded creek. It worked, didn't it? <laughs> yeah, I gotta give you that, it did. <laughs> as far as you're gonna get. Where you're gonna have to break your winch out, I reckon, to a tree up further, pull you up, and then so you can turn in. I'd go back if I were you, and we'll get you a little bit higher. Do we want to make this turn? Do we maybe go forward and try and get up that other track where there's less turning? Maybe. Because that's a that's a gnarly turn, and all it does is is going to put a lot of pressure on my um, rear end. I think I'm struggling to get my truck around here, let alone with that trailer. Steady as she goes. Let the winch do the work. All right, I'll be able to move to the next section from here. We drive as far as we can before needing the winch again. Good to go, bro! Yeah, what if I grab my truck and I'll hook onto the front of you with my winch too, eh? Yeah, definitely made a lot of load on this truck. This this side here, I'm just like, it's up halfway up my tyre, this pass. Yeah, I'll go and grab him. With the two winches working, we halve the load. All right, mate, let's do it. moving a fair bit of mud. Come on, come on. Come on, here we go. And how good does the two winches together work? Unbelievable. Oh, that was full on. Just stop, stop, stop. Stop, mate, stop. You want to repo my winch, mate? and then you get you back into the bush a bit. Using Simon's truck as the anchor point, we get a straight pull. All right, mate, let's keep going. We didn't pull down the hill here a bit, but I think it's getting coming up a little bit. We're getting traction now up on the drier ground. We're out, we're out, we're up, we're up, we're up. Yeah, no, I'm up, mate. I'm good, I'm good. Just disconnect those winches. Look at the state of you. We are out. Oh, my goodness. Thank God for that. Good job. <laughs> well done. You know where we are? Where are we? Back to where we started when we got up this are morning. We? <laughs> Look at my truck. I know. What a mess. Mate, that was a serious hole. Oh well, this track just doesn't, it just doesn't want us on it. No. I think it's... Let's get out of here, let's put this buggy back on this trailer. We'll All come right. back another time. Too easy. This track reminds us again, it doesn't want us here. Oh. I get the call. And Simon has rolled his trailer. What happened? Shit, mate. How did that happen? Oh, I stuffed up, eh? Come hooking along. I wasn't watching oh. where I was going. I'm way too fast and I've hit this hole, eh? Hit it way too fast and dampened it. You didn't? No, and just... I didn't even see it, eh? I just launched straight off in the camp and bounced over on the bar. <sighs> just use the pulley block, run it from the tree, back to the trailer, pull it back over and see what sort of damage we've got. This track just keeps sticking it to us. Nice and steady. 
Come on, baby. Don't be damaged. Don't be damaged. Don't be damaged. Don't be damaged. Lucky the camp is pretty tough and it's undamaged. Mmm. Well, it was in damage for dead. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was thinking, mate. I was thinking, yeah. geez, hope he doesn't damage his sleeping quarters. I oh, know. It's more like my only little escape from a sleeping hole. Introducing the home of Australian adventure, Unleashed TV. A growing library of content featuring the best of four-wheel driving, <laughs> fishing, touring, rebuilds, bush cooking, and whatever you call this. Hope the airbags take up. Stream entire seasons of the hit TV show All for Adventure. Get me out of here, boys. Water's coming in. Unleashed. Oh, that's tight. And more original series from Jace and the team. In this mini-series, we're going to be exploring some of the most remote coastlines. Plus, get fresh new content exclusive to Unleashed TV subscribers. Snappers, mate, this is all going on down there, You it? can stream it all for just $9.99 per month. Yeah! That's why Unleashed TV oh, yeah. is the home of Australian adventure. Not washing it. He got it. He smoked it. Oh yeah!